Do you hear them singing? They sing of doom. Hello, my lovely monsters. I am Fossa the Silver Chimera, and I've returned with a potent new build for the Titan. Use the power of the void and conduct a symphony of destruction. Let's get to it. Part one, the weapon. We're using the new exotic special ammo auto rifle, Choir of One. This comes with the perk Command Frame. Fires extended range, heavy caliber projectiles at a reduced rate. Deals increased precision damage while aiming down sights. The next perk is Fanatical Lance. Rapid final blows cause targets to explode into a pool of radiolarian fluid. Hip firing launches multiple projectiles at once in a slower moving spread pattern. Projectiles detonate on impact. Finally, we have the Catalyst. Because this is a craftable weapon, you can pick between subsistence, onslaught, and destabilizing rounds. Personally, I went with the D because it synergizes with the build better. The perk reads, final blows cause nearby targets to become volatile. I really like this gun. It's like a fusion shadow rifle that lets you be a wyvern. Plus, it hits like a truck. What can I say? Looks good, feels good. Part two, the armor. We're using the exotic gauntlets Doomfang Pauldron. These come with the perk Horns of Doom. Defeating targets with void damage has a chance to grant an escalating bonus to damage with void weapons. Defeating targets with your void melee grants super energy. While Sentinel Shield is active, defeating targets with melee attacks recharges shield throw, which extends your super on hitting a target. These are a classic from Vanilla D2, and they fit perfectly with Choir of One by juicing it with that buff to void weapons. But you guys know me. Let's kick it up a notch. Part three, class and mods. We're on Sentinel, of course, and for our super, you can run Sentinel Shield to synergize more with our exotic arms, or you can run the new Twilight Arsenal because it hits harder and is more fun. For our melee, I recommend Shield Throw for more void damage and it's ranged. For our grenade, I recommend the Scatter Grenade because it has a decent cooldown and honestly, these things hit kind of hard. For our aspects, first up is Controlled Demolition. Hitting a target with a void ability or volatile explosion makes them volatile. Further damage to a volatile target causes them to explode. Grants you and nearby allies health when a volatile target explodes near you. So, our explosions make explosions and they can heal you. Neat. Next up is Offensive Bulwark. While you have an overshield or are inside a Ward of Dawn, your grenade charges significantly faster, you have increased melee range and damage, and your melee final blows restore a small portion of your overshield and extended duration. So overshields give you buffs and more grenades. Moving to our fragments, first up is Echo of Instability. Defeating targets with grenades grant volatile rounds to your void weapons plus 10 strength. Volatile is a key part of the build, so I say load it up as much as possible. Next, Echo of Starvation. Picking up a Void Breach or an Orb of Power grants Devour, minus 10 to recovery. Devour gives health and grenade energy, which keeps us alive and lets us throw more grenades. And we'll be making a lot of Orbs and Breaches, so trust me, it's nice. Next up is Echo of Cessation. Hope I said that right. Finish your final blows create a burst of Void damage that causes nearby targets to become volatile. Defeating volatile targets create a Void Breach. More volatile and more breaches. Finally, we have Echo of Undermining, your Void Grenades weaken targets, minus 20 Discipline. The weakening effect is always welcome and it does tie into our artifact mod for this episode. Speaking of artifact mods, first up, Overload Auto Rifle is a must because we're using an auto rifle. Authorized Mod Scavenger, those scavenger mods are very important for ammo. Elemental Siphon, so Choir can make Void Breaches easier. Sustained Fire for more damage resistance. Targeting Auto Loader to increase Choir's damage even more and let it reload on kills. Void Hegemony for overshield generation. Expanding Abyss for more damage from our Void abilities and weapons. And finally, Shield Crush to get our melee back faster and increase its damage. As always, one whatever fits your playstyle and the content that you're running. For our armor mods, on the head, Special Ammo Finder because we need ammo a lot. Hands On for super generation and whatever Siphon mod works for you, most likely Void. On the arms, Heavy Handed for Orb Generation and Grenade Kickstart to give us even more grenade energy. On the chest, two Void Reserve mods for ammo and one charged up for more armor charges. On the legs, Absolution for Ability Energy, Recuperation for Health, and one Scavenger mod for just a little bit more ammo. Finally, on the class item, Explosive Finisher for Grenade Energy and a Pinch, Reaper for more Orbs, and Bomber for just a pinch more grenade energy. When these pieces come together, you make a build that makes constant explosions. It's the tried and true cycle of guns, grenades, and melees. Choir hits like a bus thanks to Doomfangs and all the void synergy leads to grenade spam that heals you and kills everything else. What is not to love? 
But now we got to talk about the most important part of any Destiny build. Part four, the fashion. This is the outfit, and I'm digging it. I wanted to focus on the Vex aspect of Choir of One, but Doomfang doesn't have anything Vexy, so I went with this kind of Vex Tech Samurai look. I used the untethered edge helm to give it that samurai feel, and the embodiment of the War Priest ornament on the arms because it has these big tubes on the shoulders. Then I used the phenotype plasticity on the chest and legs to have radialurian veins and the wings, kind of like a wyvern. Then I used the light of the Great Prism Mark to add more Vex flare. Finally, I used the Mercury Vex Chrome on the body to give it that classic Vex color. And then I used the Cloud Striding Coater, Counter, Counter, whatever, to make it look like it came straight out of the Volta glass. It almost looks like I killed a Wyvern and turned it into an armor set. It feels powerful, original, and harmonic. Kind of like the build if you think about it. So henceforth, this build will be known as Choir of Doom. For you stand at the head of the battlefield and conduct a one-man orchestra. Your enemies are your instrument. Now make them scream in glorious harmony. So that's the build. Tell me what you think of the loadout. Tell me what you think of the outfit. Are there any suggestions you'd make? Please talk to me in the comment section below. You know, I always love to talk to you guys. If you don't know what to say, how about symphony? That seems appropriate. Shout out to all the new subscribers. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy your stay. We are so close to 1,000 subs, and I cannot believe that. So thank you all for sharing, commenting, and hitting the button. That means the world. So let's try to get to that 1,000, huh? That'd be awesome. If you want more of my videos, I have a playlist of builds right here. And if you're a fan of lore, I have a playlist right here. So check those out. If you could do me one more favor, trap the subscribe button in an infinite loop of Vex simulations, that would be amazing. I am Fossil the Silver Chimera, and I hope you had a joyous day despite the world trying to tear you down. I will see all of you beautiful monsters next time.